sleepy. Is this where you sleep when I go to work? What are you doing here? You just a lazy cat? Are you just lazy? <laughs> are you just lazy? Oh, you're so cute. What is good, Mentam family? I hope you guys have a great start to your day. And as for me, it's actually kind of a lazy Sunday here, but I'm not going to be able to post this video until Wednesday nonetheless. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and actually and, uh, discuss with you guys on today's vlog topic. And you guys know that obviously for a number of years that of snakes that I have seen in my whole life, you guys know that whether if it's my girl Ariel, Van Halen, Tyson, Ellie, or Lucy for that matter as well, Usually the animals are actually pretty docile, you know, they are pretty socialized, especially Lucy here. She's looking right at me thinking um, what's going on around here, so, but, um, and they're usually pretty friendly. They're not so grumpy all the time or anything like that. Well, maybe, you know what, I shouldn't say that. Ellie can be a little bit cantankerous, if you know what I mean, so, and what that, what I mean by that is, you guys, I wanted to do, talk about a few of the most unfriendly snakes that you shouldn't get and there's obviously a few out there that I have seen online that aren't that quite friendly so and now all snake I'm not saying these snakes are mean I mean well I guess you can say they're mean if they're being unfriendly so but the point is is that I actually wanted to just go ahead and share this topic with you guys but before I do that I want to actually discuss with something you guys real quick before we get into today's vlog topic. Okay, so the first one, right, jumping right off the bat here, is I wanted to actually talk to you guys with first off is emerald emerald tree boas, and obviously ugh, I always say obviously too much. What's wrong with me? Somebody help me, please. Okay, so back to what I was saying anyway. What I was trying to say was, is that emerald tree boas are obviously... Jimmy, I think you really need to go back to English class. I wasn't that good in English. Alright, back to what I was saying. Emerald tree boas, right off the bat, are not really a very handleable species of snake to own. Even though, besides that, they are nonetheless a very, very beautiful species of boa to have on display. They are absolutely amazing snakes. They don't get quite too large, but you be like five to six foot long, I believe. Maybe seven, eight foot for a large female. So, and the reason these guys don't really, aren't really that handleable is because they're very, very defensive. Very defensive. One of the most unfriendly snakes you guys right off the bat is obviously emerald tree boas. I have seen so many of them, especially ones that were kept bred you know, and that are in captivity, they don't really socialize that well being handled at all, you guys. They kind of are more like a display animal, and even with, even if they feel just even the slightest little bit of feeling of com uncomfortness, they will not hesitate to defend themselves by striking at you. So, and you definitely don't want to take a bite from an emerald tree boa because they do have the largest teeth of any non-venomous snake, you guys. I'll show you a picture right here. And it's like I said, it's no joke. You do not want to take a bite from these guys because it is gonna hurt really bad if you take a bite from these guys. So, and even though, like I said, they are mostly a display animal, I'm sure there are very few emerald tree boas out there that don't mind being handled. But I think over time, though, you, it's best to socialize with them. If you do start to try to habituate them to become more tame. But at the same time though, you do have to be careful with them because if you actually try to handle them or like try to take them out of their enclosure, the tip of their tail, if it's wrapped around a branch or a vine, you could easily damage that tail, you guys, because it's actually quite sensitive, especially on baby snakes too and full grown adults. So overall, yeah, emerald tree boas are not quite that friendly, but there could be a few individuals out there that don't mind being handled. But in general though, they're not quite as friendly as most people think. Hi, Big Kara. Hi. Who's my Bubba? Are you my Bubba? Hi, Bubba. Oh. 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 But wait. There's something else in here, you guys. Look who's here. Hi, Boo Boo. Can you say hi? Hi, honey. 
Hi. So yeah, it is. Ugh. So yes, it is official. Boo is is officially come has come back home. And literally, she has not been at the house. I think probably since I don't know, probably almost a year, at least, or something like that. And now that you know we have Bentley here, we thought it would be time to bring Boo home and see if how she does with Bentley around. But we did set up like a baby gate near the just on the other side of the kitchen there to keep the dog and the cat separated because we know Boo, believe it or not, ever since we've gotten her since she was little. She's been petrified of dogs, like, no matter what, but it's, she's only been here now for, like, one, already, this is, like, her second day back, and, I mean, she seems to be doing okay, but right now, every time she sees the dog, she does get a little concerned, you know, like, she watches him, you know, thinking what he's gonna do when he go, approaches the gate, so, but the good news is, though, is that Boo, um, has finally started to come out, you know, because I think she, she does recognize the house, but now that the dog's here, that gets her wondering like okay what's going on so I think it will take some time for her to adjust with Bentley here maybe it might take a couple weeks but honestly though it's different for all cats so for Bagheera I don't remember how long it took him I think it took him like three weeks three or four weeks maybe so but nonetheless though uh, Boo is just still a good girl she's very very quiet but very very timid so but um, we still love her though and she's so funny so I'm glad you're home, Boo Boo. Welcome home, sweet. So this next one, I'm not totally sure if it's true or not, but I was thinking about po what could be possibly maybe black-headed pythons, you guys. I mean, I'm not saying they're completely mean like Emerald Tree Boas or Viper Boas, but there's just something about them that, while they are not mean, they do, however, they'll have quite the aggressive appetite. So would that count as being unfriendly, or is that just in their instinct of just being, like, being pigs when it comes to food. I mean, it might be different, so. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think it counts? Do you think black padded pythons are unfriendly, or is it just, they just have one big appetite because they're just, they're like pigs? I, I don't know. It could be just, could be just coincidence, so. But yeah, uh, black padded pythons, I don't have much to say, so. But nonetheless, though, they're still a really awesome looking species to have. All right, let's go ahead and get into some more of the, like the mildly venomous snakes. And obvious, right off the bat, the one of the few that I think that certainly is unfriendly from what I've seen so far is uh, mangrove snakes. And even though on the bright side about them, there is a lot of captive breeding that's been going on for the last several years with them in the reptile community. But at the same time though, even some that are captive bred or born, you know, some of them can still be a little bit finicky, you know, but you know, because since these snakes are more of an arboreal species, they kind of probably don't like to be handled as much. Um, but while I'm sure there's a few out there that have been socialized a lot, you know, being handled quite often since young, but um, a majority of them, even whether they're wild card or, or captive bred, some of them just prefer to be left alone. So even though I'm not saying they're bad snakes, you guys, they're, I'm not saying they're not good pets. They are a neat looking animal. They certainly are with that jet black and yellow on them. So. They're just more of a display animal, kind of like emerald tree boas and green tree pythons. Well, I haven't mentioned green tree pythons in this video, have I? So, but yeah, kind of like emerald tree boas. So, but nonetheless, though, a mangrove snake is certainly even if even if it's a mildly venomous snake, you still don't want to take a bite from them. So, but do I think they're still a neat looking animal? Absolutely, for sure. There is no denying it, you guys. And I think on the bright side about them, I think they do actually make great pets. They just don't shouldn't be handled as much in my personal opinion anyway so but if you guys have different different thoughts on mangrove snakes I, I don't have a problem with you guys telling me down in the comments below so but personally yeah mangrove snakes are not quite as friendly in my opinion hi hi what you doing out here on the couch huh oh you're getting blurry boo you're getting blurry meow meow where are you going well, I guess she's going to explore looking out the window for a few minutes. Well, so far, she seems to be getting better with the dog, but she's still kind of uh, finicky about him. But I think in no time, you guys, they will get along. I also forgot to share something with you guys on the vlog earlier today that came in the mail. And it, I, when I first got the packaging, I at first almost didn't even realize what it was until um, I it finally hit my head. 
and uh, it's I know this is not it has nothing to do with reptiles you guys but um, you guys know that it's football season anyway and I've been meaning to get a really cool card of somebody that I really look up to and you guys know I am a huge Packer fan so and don't you guys start hating out there because I mean obviously Green Bay is the dominant team of the of the, of the Midwest so Anywho, though, point being is, I finally got this card that I've wanted to get for quite some time. So, this is the card, you guys, right here. The one and only Mr. Aaron Rodgers. I know the camera isn't picking it up that quite well, so... But, uh, this card, it is fire, you guys. I'll give you guys a better look at it here in just a moment, so... But, uh, Aaron Rodgers just... It's just somebody that the NFL underestimates a lot, so... And this guy has literally put on so many NFL records out there, I mean, in the books, you guys. I mean, obviously, this guy has won four NFL League MVPs, which that's probably, like, the second most of all, of all time, I think. So, um, but yeah, epic card, you guys. And my Packers did beat the Bears, by the way, so um, sorry to tell you that, Bears fans, but Rogers still owns your team, so. But nonetheless, though, I'm going to go ahead and actually put this card somewhere safe, you guys, because... This card is very, very valuable, and it's in great condition, so, uh, nonetheless, though, I figured I'd just share that moment with you guys, and, uh, hopefully, uh, this Sunday, uh, the Packers can actually, uh, try and beat Tom Brady, so, yeah, go Pack, go. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and conclude with one more snake, you guys, and I'm not gonna, this one you're probably gonna see coming, and that girl, well, not girl, <laughs> this one is my, it's the one named Ellie here, you guys. And Ellie here, she's giving me that stink eye. Like, she's thinking, okay, what are you doing here? What do you got for me? Do you got food or no? And to tell you the truth, you guys, Ellie is kind of very, very strange. Like, one minute she could be calm and curious, and then she could literally go all str defensive mode, like, in, like, 0.2 seconds. But so far, she doesn't seem to look like she wants to strike, though. She's actually coming up to the camera. She's just curious and checking it out, thinking, what's going on here, you know? And honestly, she hasn't eaten in, like about a week now so but she is due to eat here pretty soon you guys in the next few days so obviously she's just wondering what in the world's going on but most of the time though when i do open her cage she's very very defensive like she'll start already to s up as i'm trying to approach her but but then again though i mean i guess right now she's in an okay mood you know she's just in curiosity but and other times she's just very very defensive so but I'm, I'm hoping to eventually, you guys, within, if I can get my own place here within a no, about another year, I would like to get her a much bigger Exoterra cage, because obviously she's starting to get pretty small for this one, for sure, you guys, as you can see how big she's getting, so, obviously, I'm probably gonna have to get one that's a little bit more wider, and, but same height, but a little bit more wide, so, but, um, it's gonna have to take time, you guys, because obviously, I just don't have the money for it yet, so, I mean, obviously, time is patience, so, but nonetheless, though, this girl, she's just absolutely amazing, so, but hopefully she doesn't try to bite the camera, but she's kind of, oh, she's kind of thinking about it, so, are you going to say hi to everybody watching out there? Alright, thank you, thank you for not biting, so, alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually just try to get her back in her cage, because I don't want her to actually get uh, a little bit too nosy around here, so, alright, girl, I gotta go ahead and put, alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude for today's video, so, there's obviously, I'm sure, some other snakes out there that are not quite as friendly as many other ones are. But these are the few that I do recognize that are kind of unfriendly. But I think there's always a misconception with each one. So, But let me know in the comments below and tell me which one do you think is really unfriendly. So, nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for all of y'all. And I promise, see you guys in the next one.